Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Biology. Today we are going to continue on our topic, animal nutrition. We are looking at proteins and fats specifically today. Alright, so let us take them together so that we can quickly what, finish it up. Alright, so now uh, do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jam CBT Practice app. Okay, the app is for students who want to pass their exam at once. Alright, you know some students that will say they, want, they, they just want to test jam. Okay, so uh, there are some people who say this jam, I want to just pass it once. That app is for you okay so please ensure you want to download the application and activate it we'll talk about the features of the app soon but let us see a question that relates to all this from the app okay this is jam pass question 2019 number 36 2019 number 36 it is being displayed on your screen right now it says which of the following substances has the highest amount of energy in joules per unit weight okay which of the following substances has the highest amount of energy in joules per unit weight a says carbohydrates, B says fats, C says protein, D says vitamins, okay? So we'll come back to this question to answer it and many other questions at the end of the class and not before this class because we want to teach you first so that you know because after you have known, all right, answering questions will become the least of your problem. So download that application. It has all the past questions you need, lecture notes, it's a classroom feature that has lecture notes that have been structured according to the jam syllabus. Question search feature, you can search for questions just like the way we search for this one. And of course, most importantly, the mock what UTME challenge saying challenge that's what every student that's writing jam for this year competes on. All right, to win amazing prizes, get used to jam pass question, jam likely exam question, see, see your score release every Saturday after every mock. All right, and then you it will help you to track your progress, okay, and preparation for the exam, put you in a competitive mode. So you need you need all of those what uh those are vital tools to your success in what in jam. So get the app, then activate it. All right, the app is available for both your laptops and your computers. It's also available for your phone, for Android phones on Play Store. So download and activate. Activation is not up to the price of rice and chicken in a in a good restaurant. So please. Place your future above frivolity right now. Get the app and what and succeed. Then other things can follow. Now, proteins and fats. Okay, I'm looking at proteins first. So proteins, they are organic compounds that are made up of small molecules called amino acids. Okay, in our organic chemistry class, we have done protein before. And that is why we are not doing detailed uh, discussion that has to do with, what, with tests for proteins, okay, which has been fully done there. Okay, so now proteins are organic compounds say made up of small molecules that are called what amino acids. In chemistry, we say the uh, amino acids they are the monomer units. Okay, they are the repeating unit of what of proteins. Okay, so please understand that. So make sure you go and watch our organic chemistry what class. They consist of carbon. They consist of hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. All right, all right. They are used for what for growth and the repair of worn out tissues. And they are also used to make what enzymes. All right, enzymes is a topic. With, uh, is, is an episode we're going to what talk about after we're done with what with uh, these classes of what of food. Okay, so proteins are very very important. Like we said, the proteins they are what they are uh, body building foods. Okay, we call them body building, body building foods. Okay, we call them growing foods, growing foods. Okay, so if you want to grow, you need what to take what uh, proteins, all right? And there's what there's energy. There's what there's a protein requirement that what that every human being needs, even from from a child to what a, a breastfeeding mother to an adult. Okay, there are what protein requirement that what that you need, all right? For you to be able to what there's a right amount that you need for you to be able to what to grow, and you cannot overeat protein. So if you can see it, body with all always what make use of it. So please. Try and learn to what to eat a lot of what protein. It is very, 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 very important, especially if you are uh, if I child, okay, you are maybe you 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 want to grow, okay, you have deficient grow, uh, de deficient growth, okay, you need to take a lot of what of protein. So that's how according the bodybuilding foods or according what the growing what foods. There are some proteins that we call first class proteins, okay, we call them first class what proteins. Some proteins we call them first class proteins. Those first, up, first class proteins are proteins that are gotten from what? From animals. We call them first class proteins. Okay, we get this one from what? From animals. All right, we get them from what? From animals. Example, I order your meat, your meat, okay, your fish, your eggs. 
okay and then your diary products all right okay or this one that are called what first class what proteins that proteins that are gotten from what from animals then we also have the ones we call second class proteins second class proteins are those ones we get from what from plants second class proteins second class proteins also some we get them from what from uh, plants Okay, an example uh, of this is what is cow pea and some vegetables. Okay, cow pea, cow pea, that is C uh, O W cow pea, or what uh, vegetables, some vegetables anyway. Okay, so we get uh, those second class protein from what from plants. All right, so those found in animals is called first class proteins, meat, fish, eggs, dairy products. Second class proteins are those plants. Okay, I just found in what in plants like cow pea and some vegetables. Now, having known this also, it's also important to know that what they uh, they are up to what a hundred amino acids available in nature. They have up to a hundred amino acids available in nature, but the body only what needs about twenty of them to make to make all of the protein that what that the body needs. Okay, the body what uses what humans or humans use what just twenty. Of those amino acids to make what all the protein that the world that the body needs okay and um, uh, those amino acids that that the body needs are divided into three the ones we call the non-essential amino acid non-essential amino acids okay we have all the non-essential amino acids the non-essential amino acids are those we get from food and that's the ones that our body makes themselves okay we get them from foods and our body make, make also make them okay. Those ones are the one we call the non-essential amino acid. This one we get them from what from food. Okay, and then our body makes them. Okay, our body what makes all these ones and what to find them what in food or also. So example of what this non-essential amino acids include the one we call aniline and uh, alanine. Okay, sorry. Okay, and, and learning. We also have that we we'll call uh, uh, asparagine. Okay, asparagine. Then we also have the one uh, we we'll call them um, uh, aspartic acid. Aspartic acid. We also have one we we'll call uh, glutamic acid. Okay, we also have uh, another one we we'll call serine. Okay, uh, S E N E. Okay, all these ones are all what non-essential amino acids okay we get them from foods and our body what makes them also all right they are called non-essential amino acid they also have ones we call conditional essential amino acid okay we call them conditional okay conditional essential amino what acids okay now for this conditional essential amino acids Healthy body can make these ones under normal conditions. Okay, for conditional essential amino acids. Okay, a healthy body, body that is what healthy. Okay, free from problems, or right? free from uh, diseases. Okay, a body that that has normal working metabolism. Okay, can what can can make what any of these ones. Okay, healthy bodies can what produce what these ones. Okay, we say healthy bodies can make them under uh, normal conditions okay and those are ones we call what the conditional essential amino acids okay example of this is uh, the one we call uh, ag arginine or arginine some people say it's arginine also have what system okay and what and the likes okay they are see some other examples so these are the ones we call conditional essential amino acids okay healthy bodies can make these ones under normal conditions but the non-essential amino acids we get them from food and our body also makes them now and then that is sort of the last one if you are taking your note please make sure you what you are what you are writing them out or you can take the video back and what and write no we also have the last ones what we call the essential now we'll talk about non-essential i'll we'll talk about conditionally essential they will not have what essential amino acid for this essential amino acid we can only get them from food we can only get them from what from food essential amino acid essential amino acids Okay, we can only get this one from food, all right? We can get them and get them. 
only from food. Okay, example is water is histoline. Okay, histoline is an example of that of 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 what of uh, essential what amino acid. Okay, that we can only get from food. All right. We also have one we call iso uh, leucine. We also have one we call leucine. Okay, we also have lysine and what and the and the and and, and others and many other examples. Okay, this ones are the one that what can we can only get from food. They are called essential amino acid. You can get them only from food. Histoline, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, and what other was examples. Now, uh, it is important to note that what of course the protein proteins that call what the body building food. We we'll talk about those ones that are called growing food. Okay, the body what needs them for for growth and for proper what metabolism. Now, now I talk about the test for what for proteins. Okay, these are what the are about three tests that we have for proteins. Number one, the Millions test. Number two, the Bure test. Number three, the Zantro proteic test. Okay, those are what the uh, the three tests that we have for, for proteins. Okay, and we are not going to discuss any of them here. Just we are just going to let you know that these are the tests of protein. If you want to understand, okay, fully, it is it is very very important. We will see from your past question right now. They said them. All right, they said them in your past questions. So please go to what our organic chemistry class and what and join proteins. Learn about proteins. Then learn about the test for what for proteins in full details. Well, well, I cannot be going uh, talking about it there. Come back here to talk about it. It becomes what waste of time for me. All right. So please, so that we can cover more ground. Please ensure you go to what our organic chemistry class. If you need the full organic chemistry playlist, okay, we have we are, we are done with everything that to do with organic chemistry. In your jam syllabus, okay. Just simply send me a message on WhatsApp. Just say, Commander, sir, when I need organic chemistry word playlist, okay. I'll send you everything from A to Z of organic chemistry. There you'll see this protein, okay. And then you can be able to what to learn more about what about what all these tests. Send me a message on WhatsApp on this number zero nine one two one five one five two four six. It's completely free. It's completely what free. All right. I'll send you the full organic chemistry lessons. And then what you can do, please make sure when you get to what, make sure you share to other students. Let them what also what have opportunity to what to learn. All right. So those are what uh that is that those are the tests of what for proteins. Okay. Uh Milan's test, Bure test, Xanto proteic or test. Now let us go to fats and oils. Fats and oils. All right. Oruru Abi. Okay. Fats and oils. You say fat and oils contain what carbon. Hydrogen and little amount of what of oxygen. Okay, in our chemistry, we we'll talk about fatty acids and what and glass heroin. We are not talking about this one in biology, but please make sure you go to that class and watch and learn more about fatty what acid. We have. I'm just limiting what this class. All right, now fat contain carbon, hydrogen, and little amount of oxygen, and fat and oils are solids and liquids at room temperature. Take note of that. Fat and oils they are solids and liquids at room temperature. When fats are oxidized, they produce greater amount of energy compared to carbohydrates. Please take note of that. In fact, note that what that fats have greater food energy per mass per mass than carbohydrates than carbohydrates and proteins. Okay, so food energy per mass. Okay. Note that what that fats have greater food energy per mass than carbohydrates and what and proteins. So please understand that. That's why we're saying here that when fat oxidize, they produce greater amount of energy compared to what to carbohydrates. All right, so they can also act as insulators and help to provide heat to the body. Maybe during what uh, cold weather, all right, the because of the consumption of fat, that's why I'm not very good to what to feed the coat too much. If let's say you know you don't have any fat in your body, oh man, you go collect. All right. So and understand that what that fats have what greater food energy per mass than both carbohydrates and what and protein. All right. And uh, as you can see, uh, these are the word uses. There are also some other uses we are going to what look at. Uh, uh, fats give food texture and what and taste. Okay. Fats they what give food. Better texture and taste. Imagine your stew without oil. How will it look like? Okay, so fats give what food 
better texture and taste. All right. Also, uh, that the major what that a major source of energy. That a major source of energy. Okay. And of course, they are also critical to what to cells and tissues. They are very, very, very critical to cells and tissues. Number three, they are critical to cells and tissues. Okay. And also, they also help to what to absorb vitamins. They help help to what to absorb vitamins okay so these are all what uses of what of fats right please understand and take note of them but i would say fat contain carbon hydrogen and little amount of oxygen fat and oils are solids and liquids at room temperature we say when fats are oxidized they produce greater amount of far greater amount of energy than what than what can, than carbohydrates all right and say so they can also act as what as insulators and help to provide heat to the body all right, we say they give food better texture and taste. All right, they are a major source of energy. They are critical to cells and tissues and help to absorb vitamins. All right, so we say test for fat and oils here. We also don't need what in our organic chemistry class, so we are also not we're discussing it here. Just know that we also done three solution: osmic acid test, translucent test. Okay, uh, understand and what and enjoy. Go to organic chemistry class and you will enjoy better. All right, so now we're going to go to the app. Answer some questions and then we are out of here. Let us see uh, 1997 number 16. Jump past question biology 1997 number 16. They say a food substance was treated with a few drops of Sudan TV solution. This is what it tests for fat. If you like, don't go and learn it. Okay, so when I'm saying go to a guy, I'm saying go and learn test for fat. I know what I'm telling you. Okay, we say that a full substance was treated with a few drops of sudanturi solution and a red coloration was obtained. The food contained what? Obviously, it's test for, for fat, so it contained fat. Let's look for option C, which is fat. Protein, starch, fat, and mineral salt. Very correct. Correct answer is fat, there, option C. 2019 number 36, they say which of the following substances has the highest amount of energy in joules per unit weight? Okay, obviously, like I've said, that what? That fats have what greater food energy per what per, per mass than both carbohydrates and what and protein. So the, 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 the option that will have the highest amount of energy in joules, okay? Unit of energy is joules, all right? Per unit weight, the same thing as saying per unit mass, okay? So A is carbohydrate, B is fat, C, proteins, D, vitamins, correct? I'm sure there is what option B, which is what fats. So let us see 2022. Number 12, 2022 number 12 says, foods eaten by animals are generally classified into how many classes? We talked about what, seven classes of what of foods, okay? All right, we talk about uh, uh, carbohydrate, proteins, fats, vitamins, mineral salts, water, rough edges, okay? There are seven in number, so correct answer is option B, seven. If like to say, they know they ask now. So, uh, 2000, number 21, 2000, number 21, say, the production of violent coloration when dilute sodium hydroxide solution is added to solution of, uh, of food substance, followed by drops of 1% copper sulfate solution, why shaking indicates the presence of what? A is what is protein. Okay, is it, that is a test for protein. So go and what? And look at what the test for protein. There's a reason why I say you should go and look at them. Do not joke on it. Protein, carbohydrate, C say fat, D say reducing sugar. Correct answer there is what is protein. All right, okay, 1998, number 14. They say in millions tests, which is a test for protein, you see, uh, when the reagent is added to a protein food item, a white, preci a white precipitate is produced, which turns A say blue on heating, B say yellow on heating, C say green on heating, D say red on heating, okay? A brick red precipitate, okay, is the word brick red precipitate is what is observed, okay? So correct answer there is what is red on heating. It turns what heat, it turns what red on heating. Okay, so please go and look at the test for what? For proteins and learn more, all right? So uh, there are many other questions on this application. It helps you to study efficiently. So please ensure you download the app, activate it, start practicing your way to success. And I'm sure you give your testimony. My name is Master T, the Grand Commander of this O3 Schools Army. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me.